New face on Saturday Kitchen is brought in something new to show us too. It's the fabulous Daniel Clifford. Great to have you on the show. Yeah. Congratulations nice on the two Michelin stars. Thank you very much. So, two Michelin stars and a barbecue. Yeah. You well, would normally put them together, but you no, have. I have. I think this, uh, we all have our new toys. I think it's the newest thing in England, and I uh, wanted to be the first person to use it. And this is it, then? Right, okay. It. So, so, what are you cooking, then, on so it? So, basically, I'm going to do uh, sea bream, which is, yeah. uh, like, a, this is the pink version. You've got two versions. You've got the, uh, the darker version and the pink. I prefer this one because it's... Uh, they call it a dorade, don't a they? A dorade in France, yeah. yeah. I think it's a beautiful fish, really delicate, and I think it goes really well with the flavours. Basically, it's going to be cooked with parma ham. We're going to do some roasted uh, vegetables. Which I'm doing now, yeah. And a sauce of uh, rosemary butter. Sounds good to me. So now, why don't you want to get that fish on? I'm just going to quickly fillet this off. But the Mediterraneans love this sort of dorade or the, the sea bream, don't they? Yeah, I think it's... Uh, it's one of those fish that they, it's, it's just it's just so healthy, isn't it? That's why I wanted to keep the dish really simple and simply cooked. And well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see in a minute, yeah. Yeah. But it's quite meaty inside. Yeah, I, yeah. to be honest, it's, it's meaty. It's really nice. It, it, you can eat it raw. If the fish is fresh enough, it's really nice raw. Right. But I just, you know, I, I'm doing the barbecue because I think it's that time of year. I think, you know, the kids like sitting outside playing on the trampoline. So but having that in your, you, oh, you've actually got one of these in your kitchen in the restaurant. I've got you? one inside and one outside, and I've got two at home. Right. So uh, you got shares in them, or something? Huh? No, I just. <laughs> right. uh, to be honest with you, it's just I had a big uh, gas barbecue, and there's something really manly about cooking with charcoal. Yeah. And in the kitchen, the way electricity <laughs> prices are going up, it's cheap to use calf charcoal. So I'm just going to pin by this quickly. Must dash be well away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I keep well clear of them in case my face goes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Just removing the pin bones. This pepper. Yeah, I don't know what he's done, but the only way the only way you're going to get the skin off it really is to either roast it for quite a long time and then put it in a bag, or you can quickly do this. Just char it with a blowtorch. You can do it. You do it on the gas stove or the barbecue, I suppose. Yeah, the barbecue. The so it's, it softens them a bit too much. Yeah. So I just wanted to keep you busy, James. Exactly. I thought as much. Yeah. Right, you pin bone that fish. Yeah, I'm just going to bring the board back and trim it up so we get rid of all that excess. Well, all you do with this, just make and then take a cloth, and if you rub it, the skin comes off. Wow, look at that. See? There you go. Mm. There you go. So, tell so, us so about this, uh, this fish. What are you going to do with it? I'm just trimming it off to, to, uh, so I can put it onto the parma ham. So basically, there it is. It's had the pin bones removed. Yeah. It's all ready. So now, is this a dish on your restaurant menu? Or? It was one I did. I used to have... I used to have on the, uh, the lunch menu about three right. or four years ago. Yeah. And we're just about to bring it back because it's, it's that time of year. Yeah, exactly. Now, your restaurant, Midsummer House. Yeah. This is on the river in uh, It's just Cambridge, on the yeah? river Cam, Cam yeah. And I've, it's just... Uh, we've been there 13 and a half years. Yeah. Got our second star in 2005. And since then, it's, uh, it's flown, really. I've got a great team. Yeah. And I think... Uh, Hopefully, now we're barbecuing, we're doing things different to everybody else, and I think that's really important to keep the food style changing and uh, yeah. enjoying the food, really. Exactly. Right, now paper and barbecues don't often... Uh, no. Right. The, well, the, the, the reason I do it on the paper, because I don't want it to stick. Right. But also, you can do it in a pan just as well as a barbecue, but you don't get that smoky flavour. So I'm just it's gonna... a common thing with fish on the barbecue. It does stick sometimes. It does, doesn't it? And that was, that's the reason I'm putting the grease proof on. So yeah. basically, what I've done is just quickly... Oiled the paper, put yep. some salt, rosemary, parma ham. It's got to be kept in the fridge, otherwise it all sticks together. Right. So, okay. just a sheet of parma ham very quickly. As you can see, it's, that sits on there. Yep. Put that over there. So the door I'd fill it now just sits perfectly on top of that. And all I do is trim all the way around yep. with a really sharp knife. It's not, not that difficult to get, I suppose, if you let your fish monger know. What, do, well, to be honest, you could do it with salmon, you could do it with red mullet, you could yeah. do it with most fish, to be totally honest. You know, I think it's just nice. It's, it's just nice to see. It's found more so in the med, would you think? Yeah. Yeah. Like the south of France. So basically, yeah. the good thing about the barbecue is you can control the temperature. At the moment, I've got it set about 250, but you open the flaps there and that keeps the temperature so the fish is in. That's, that's on the paper. That's on the paper, straight on the charcoal. Right. So now we've got to start the sauce. 
Right. Wash the hands. Barbecue, um, barbecue looks slightly like the kind of unexploded bombs they dig up yeah. in London from time to time <laughs> from World War Two. Well, I hadn't seen one like that before. <laughs> but that's you, you've got charcoal inside there. Charcoal inside there is ceramic, and the idea behind it is that it keeps the temperature in. Yeah. But as you can see, I can hold it. Right. So it's not that hot, and it, it doesn't right. smoke. It's beautiful. Yeah. Right, right. So quickly, I'm going to uh, wash my knife. Right. I got this on. So these veg to go with it, you've got courgettes, courgettes you've got peppers, the peppers, peels, uh, carrots, onion, which, yeah. which is there. So I'll do that, yeah, no problem. So I'm just going to quickly get the sauce on. Right. Now the sauce, you're going to do this with a little bit of rosemary sauce. A bit of a rosemary butter sauce, so it's right. basically shallot garlic, sweated down till transparent. Yeah. You add the wine and the vinegar, reduce that as quickly as you can, pass it off, yep. and then you add the cream. Simple as that. With some Simple as that, yeah. Remember, if you'd like to answer a question this show, then call this number. That's 0876 41 41 41. Calls cost 10p a minute for BT Line Light. Mobiles and other networks may vary. And if you need to put your question to us live a little later on, and don't forget you can find uh, Daniel's recipe, along with all the other recipes from today's show, on our other website, which is bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. Right, I've just got a little bit of, bit of oil in there. Yeah. There you go. The I season them at the last minute because I find the. The uh, salt brings out the uh, moisture of the vegetables, yeah. and then you won't get a good coloration. We want that roasted flavour. Okay. So basically, shallots are just going to uh, get transparent. Then yeah. you're going to add your vinegar and your wine. Yep. Bring that down as quickly as we can. Now your career is taking you all over the place, France, all over the place. Yes. Started off in Hampshire. I don't know if you can remember. Hampshire. You keep. You mentioned this earlier. Yeah. We were, we were working more or less... Well, very, next, very... Next restaurants? Yeah, there? well, we used to play football together years and years ago. Did we? I don't remember playing football. Well, you should do, because you always won. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do remember that, but <laughs> I don't remember football at all. No, well, to be honest with you, that was 93, so a lot's changed since <laughs> yeah, then for both of us. That, where was that? You were really down there? I was at the Provence. It was a little restaurant down in, in Limington. Yeah. And then from there I moved. I did some time in Marco. I did some time in Yorkshire. I went to a two-star in France. I went back to Yorkshire. Yeah. So I, I think you know, for me. So what took you to Cambridge then? What was well, that to be honest, you just my business partner. Yeah, the restaurant. I found found the restaurant with my business partner. It's a beautiful location. Yeah. So now we're going to. Uh, Got this fast. Yep. We're going to pass this off quickly. Yeah. That's the reduction. There you go. So now what I'm going to do is bring that to the boil. The lettuce is there when we okay, need. I'll do that. Chuck that in at the last moment. So you were going over at Cambridge. What was? Yeah, Cambridge is. To be honest with you, there was nothing. It, it was a bit of a uh, gastronomic nightmare when I first went to Cambridge, and it was. Uh, what? Because there was nothing, that, nothing. There was nothing there. Even getting suppliers there was really difficult. And now there's some great restaurants popping up. And I think right. it's nice to see it. But I think you know, midsummer we built it and built it and we reinvested, and yeah. now it's. Uh, yeah, it's making money and I'm very happy. I've got a great team. That's the most very important. Happy, yeah. <laughs> making money is the important bit. <laughs> right, so have we got any rosemary in there yet? No, oh. basically what I'm going to do is going to reduce that. I need to boil the cream, otherwise it'll split. Right. I'll just reduce it slightly. I'm going to chop the... I stick the rosemary no, in at the last no. minute. Yeah, stick it on the hot There's one. your veg. Now we've put the lettuce in there as well. A lot yeah. of people wouldn't cook with lettuce, but you mentioned France. Yeah, Even cooking with uh, little gems. Definitely. Yeah, it's 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 just one of those flavours. It wilts down. Got a, it keeps the moisture. I love it. I, I cook with lettuce a lot. I, I use iceberg a lot, little yeah. gem a lot. I just think it's a flavour that other people don't use. Because the French do it quite a lot as well. Don't yeah, they? with peas and and lettuce, which is great. When I was in France, we, uh, the place I worked was in Tours, which is the Garden of France, and the chef had 108 different varieties of uh, tomato growing. Right, and it was just. It was an experience that I wouldn't have got in the UK, and I, I think, to be honest with you, you come back a stronger cook when you've worked in France. I think it's really important. I'm just going to check the fish, James. Yep. Yeah, as you can see, look, it's cooking through. Yeah. But it's 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 we're about a minute away. Yeah. If we've got time. Yeah, it's, we've got time. It's all right. right. We've got to finish that sauce anyway. So the rosemary. So goes now in. we're going to add some butter. You want a whisk? Yeah. Yeah. A big one. There you go. There you go. There so you I'm go. just going to whisk that in. Turn the, do, no. you, do you want to do that or do you want me to do Yeah, that? go on, you're right. Now, just up the road from you, I suppose, you're doing the. Um, is it up the road from you in Cambridge? Uh, yeah, Jimmy's wait, so food festival. yeah, we're doing uh, Harvest at Jimmy's. Yeah. Which I'm really excited about. I'm doing it with the barbecues, actually. I'm doing a, uh, an experience. It's going to be like a music and. Uh, what we're trying to do is theme music and food together. You're yeah. going to go through seven different rooms. 
you're going to have an Indian room, an English room, yeah. and it's all going to be cooked on the egg. And then what the, the final bit is you're going to get to the rooftop terrace and overlook the band's playing. Right. So you're going to sit there with your dessert, glass of champagne. Now, this um, is at Jimmy Stockerty's farm. It's kind of like. That's it. Mini Glastonbury meets a food show. Would yeah, that be right? a, I think it's. A, yeah, it, it, I think it's a bit of a posher. A bit of a posher. Uh, it's a good combination of food, and, food and yeah. Uh, music I think you're there as well, aren't you? I am there. I am there. Not right. doing the barbecue thing, though. No, uh, to so. be honest, I don't understand why I got roped into <laughs> yeah, doing the exactly. barbecue because uh, now I'm starting. Because nobody to else get... wanted to do it. Mate. No, that's, that's, that's it. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. Right. So basically, with the sauce, yeah. For me, lemon juice just finishes everything. Yeah. So I'm going to add some lemon juice, give it a quick yeah. taste, make sure it's fine. I think we're there. Okay. There you go. It's got real acidity, but you've got the sweetness from there. Yeah, I've seasoned that up, it's ready for it. Right, so now what we're going to do yeah. is take some of the roasted veg. It smells absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's simple, isn't it? Really? It it's is good. simple, but yeah. It, yeah, it's something that I think anyone can do. Yeah. But it's got colours. It just screams, screams summer, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at that. There you go. You want the fish, which is yep. perfect. Look at that, it's ready. I'm just going to take this, get a little bit of sauce around the outside. I'll lift that off for you. Lift that off. That's cooked on the paper. Yep. There so now I'm just going to quickly see, as you can see, the paper's not burnt. Flip it over. You can smell the. Uh... God, it smells gorgeous. How brilliant is that? Right, just, and just to finish it off, just a tiny bit. Of lemon juice just to bring out that acidity. I'm going to give the plate, the plate a quick wipe. So, remind us what that is again. So, basically, it's barbecue dorade with parma ham, roasted uh, Provencal vegetables, and a rosemary butter sauce. Brilliant for your first time live on TV. Thank you very so much. Sir. I've just heard him breathe a big sigh of relief there. there you <laughs> He's done, right? You can sit down and relax now, so have a seat. Thank you. There you go. Dive into that. It looks wow. spectacular. Wow. It? it really does, yeah. Yeah. Now, he said if you can't get that Durard or Bream, which is often a lot found in the Med, South of I suppose of you, you could do it in mackerel. Mackerel yeah. would, you know. Salmon's really oh, good. Oh, salmon's brilliant. Yeah, sea bass. Bream. Sea bass, yeah. Mmm. Yeah. So simple. Yum. And you can taste the barbecue mm. sort of flavour in that ham as well. Really yeah. easy. And the rosemary, you wouldn't often put rosemary and cream and all that kind of stuff. I love it's rosemary. It's just that, it's that Mediterranean. For me, that was where my background of cooking came from. Yeah, it, was, it was the 80s. Yeah. It was the 80s and 90s. Yeah. <laughs> very simple, very good. Mm, that's really delicious, yeah. Absolutely delicious. Well, well, let's not dive in. We need some wine to go with this.